In the last episode of the Valve of the Week Career Mode, we had a really mixed back episode that sees us pick up two draws and one win. Um, it wasn't the best of episode, but we're looking to improve. For the scouting, we haven't been lucky so far. Um, we only had we only really got one really good player, and he was a goalkeeper. To add on that, we haven't really been lucky. I might need to change the player type to something else more suited to our style of playing like a uh, attack minded midfielder or maybe a winger um i haven't really had the best of luck finding great players so far in this youth scout and hopefully we can get some more for transfers um i'm gonna be looking at this guy ramon um he's a, he looks like a really decent player he's a box to box player um we're looking for a midfielder that can be a box to box um also shout out to angry world cup for the suggestion i'm gonna be looking at him in the january transfer window Today's episode, we have a really tough game ahead of us. We have Athletic Bilbao away at San Mames and also Sevilla and Villarreal, which are really good teams in career mode. Um, hopefully, we can pick up some points against them. Our first game of the episode is going to be against Bilbao. Here is how Bilbao line up in a 4-4-2 lineup. Um, the first chance of the game goes to us. It was a nice pass from Tony Villa to find Weissman and a really nice turn to shoot it with his left foot. 1-0 up against Bilbao. The second chance goes to Bilbao as it was a misunderstanding from the back. And one of our former players gets the ball and he hits the side net. We almost they almost had us right there, but I'm gonna be making a substitution right here. I'm gonna be taking off Baldo has he hasn't had the best of games. I'm bringing out Jota and hopefully he can influence the game as we get a corner from this. I'm going straight in the middle and it was a nice clearance as he falls back to our left back Olaza and it was a nice save from the goalkeeper. We did, I um, mean, Bilbao did get a chance here but it was a nice volley from Garcia and a really bad clearance from him and falls back to Raul Garcia which makes it 1-0. Bilbao did also get a chance here. It was a really nice shot from the French striker Grubel, I think that's how you say it. Um, He's not Basque, but there's there's always exception to be made. Um, uh, we did get a chance right at the end of the game to make it 2-2, but it was a really bad, selfish move from Mesa to take the shot when he instead he could have passed it to the runner. We did get a corner from this. We're going straight in the middle like always, and the nice cleanse from the goalkeeper, and that's how the game is going to end. Our first loss of the season. Our second game of the episode is going to be against the Villarreal. They are a really good team in Spain. They usually like a Europa League team. Of course, they won the Europa League in real life. Um, they do have some great players like Gerard Moreno. Um, the first chance of the game falls to them as they get a good chance to find Gerard Moreno sitting by himself in the middle of the box. No one to mark him. And he makes it 1-0. Was, we do get a chance here from uh, Roca Mesa and a really nice turn from Waldo to turn his men and even better finish with his right foot to find the back of the net one all here. Villarreal did get a nice chance, uh, it was a nice pass to cut through a defense and even better finish from Capu to make it 2-1. We did get a chance right at the end of the game, it was a nice cut back from Mark Andre and a really nice finish with his left foot. Um, it was nice save from the goalkeeper as we get a corner from this. Um, we're going straight in the middle, but what the hell just happened there? That was one of the worst things I've taken in a long time, but it will end it 2-1. Our next game of the episode is going to be against Sevilla FC. As you guys know, Sevilla one of the best teams in Spain. They have some great players like Rakitic. Um, we also did get our first chance of the game. It was a nice cutback from Buedo, but a nice defending from Sevilla to cancel a lead. Sevilla somehow left a lot of players behind. We get a counter attack here with 2 on 2, and it was a nice cutback cross to Weisman. If Weisman wasn't going to miss that, 1 0 up here in the Stadio Ramon Bis 1. Sevilla did get a chance here. It was a nice thread pass to find El Nesri and a questionable defending from us, but a nice finish from El Nesri to make it 1 0. Sevilla did get a chance at the end of the game. It was a Really bad defending from us, but a horrendous kick from him is going to end one all. Our second last game of the episode is going to be against Deportivo Alaves. Um, they have a good goalkeeper in Pachuca. Um, 
Our first chance of the game goes to us. It was a nice pass from Weissman and a cutback and a powerful cross to Weissman and an even better header. One of the best headers I've scored in this game and maybe the best call of the season. Who knows? The Botibo did get a corner here but it was a nice save from our goalkeeper Masip and even better clearance and that's how the half is going to end. I mean, we did get a chance. It was a nice pass from Weissman and a nice goal from Buedo here. He's been great. What did happen? The goalkeeper just tripping. Buedo has been one of the most on-form players and one of the most consistent players in this team so far. I'm going to be taking out Tony Villa to give some minutes to the Spanish midfield, attacking midfielder Paris. Deportivo will get a chance here. It was a nice cutback from um, whoever that was and really poor marking from us to to make it 2-1 here, Rujda make it 2-1 here, um, we did get a chance here, it was a nice slick through pass to, I don't know who that was, I think it was Joda, uh, the two substitute making the, the best plays I've seen so far, um, the game will end like that, so now hopefully, uh, Deportivo did get a free kick here, and it was a nice block, and that's how the game is going to end, 1-0, um, this game was one of the best games I had in FIFA, or maybe in this series, um, it was a nice to see us pick up some points after a lackluster performance. Last game of this episode is going to be against Cadiz. Um, I'm going to be simulating this. Hopefully, we do get a win. If you made it this far into the episode, um, make sure you leave a like. And if you have any suggestions for players or anything, just leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.